goodness, what a crowd. Good evening, folks. My name is Chip Gardner, and I'm here because I've thrown my hat into the ring to be considered for the position of Honorary Mayor of Hollywood, and I sure could use your support. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Now, to be clear, I am not asking for your votes. Honorary Mayor of Hollywood is not an elected position. It is a purely <laughs> ceremonial position. This person is appointed by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce to be present for parades and ribbon cuttings and the, the laying of a new star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, things like that. What I do want you to do is contact the Chamber of Commerce and tell them Chip Gardner is your man, and I hope that you will. It's a very prestigious position. A lot of show business luminaries have held it over the years. Charlton Heston, Monty Hall, as well as people who are literally remembered by no one, such as <laughs> Ben Hunter and Barbara Britton, right? No one. <laughs> but nobody in the world has defined the position better than broadcasting legend Johnny Grant. Johnny Grant was honorary mayor of Hollywood for 28 years, and after all that time, the only force strong enough to dislodge him from the position was the icy hand of death itself. <laughs> yes, Johnny passed in 2008, and out of respect for that great man, the position has been left vacant ever since. Well, I am here tonight to say that's just about enough respect. <laughs> Seven years of respect will just about do it. So tonight, I disrespectfully ask for that dead man's old job, please. Thank you. I mean, he's dead, what could he care? Now, you may ask, what qualifies me for the position? Well, folks, I have spent two decades as an announcer for television and radio and a game show host. You may have seen some of the classic game shows that I hosted. I hosted a show many years ago called, Are You Smarter Than the Hantavirus? <laughs> now, the way this worked was that we infected two contestants with the Hantavirus. <laughs> and then we asked them a bunch of general knowledge questions as their brains became increasingly scrambled by the fever. <laughs> Suffering as they were from one of history's deadliest diseases. It was a great show. Fun to watch their brains fail them. I also hosted a show called How Much Anesthesia Can Your Liver Withstand? Fairly self-explanatory, we... Uh, we found a disgraced anesthesiologist. <laughs> They're surprisingly easy to find. <laughs> and the more anesthesia you could take, the more money you made. And I don't believe we ever had to pay up. <laughs> I also hosted a show called You Figure It Out. This was a show where we took two contestants and we put them in a studio with a giant wheel and a stack of trivia questions and a tic-tac-toe board and an obstacle course and a, a bucket of ball bearings and 50 blueberry pies and a brand new Cutlass Sierra and a rotting dog carcass. And they had half an hour to figure out what the game was and win it. And you know they never did? Truth be told, we didn't know what it was. <laughs> now, a lot of these shows were only available in local markets and some of them only at sea, but they were all great shows. <laughs> so who better than me to represent Tinseltown in an unelected and unofficial ceremonious capacity than me, right? Now, I'm sorry to say, I am not running unopposed. There are some other folks who would like to be Hollywood's honorary mayor and I would like to talk about some of them. They are truly well-financed and highly organized show business titans, and we need to address them. Marion Ross, ladies and gentlemen, Marion Ross has put herself forward to be Hollywood's honorary mayor. Now, we probably all have pleasant memories of Marion Ross as Mrs. Cunningham, Richie's mother on Happy Days. <laughs> but the real Marion Ross is a whore and a proven liar. That's a fact. <laughs> now, what I'm about to tell you is absolutely the God's honest truth. Marion Ross lives in a house with a detached garage, just like the Cunningham house. And over that detached garage is an apartment, just like Fonzie's apartment in the Cunningham house. Now, 
for $500, you can stay in that apartment for a night. And it's decked out just like the Fonzie's apartment, and there's a leather jacket there you could put on. You can have a full Fonzie fantasy experience up there. Doesn't sound so bad, right? Well, for an extra $20, Marion Ross will visit you in the night and fuck your brains out. <laughs> That's the God's honest truth. <laughs> and the whole time she's doing it, she's shrieking, Arthur, Arthur, because that's what she called the Fonz. <laughs> her and only her. In my opinion, that's pretty gross. <laughs> Shadow Stevens makes his own honey. Folks, I think Hollywood deserves <laughs> to be represented by an honorary mayor who isn't a weirdo. Right, folks? <laughs> All right, good. Now, I would like to think the best of my various opponents. I would like to think that none of them will engage in negative campaigning. I don't believe in it. <laughs> but it's possible that some of them may point out that I am an avowed Satanist. It's true. <laughs> and I have never denied it. I love Satan. <laughs> It was the sweet Lord Satan who lifted me up out of despair when a Jeep ran over my face on the Pacific Coast Highway. It was Satan who stood by me during all of my failed facial replacement surgeries as my body rejected face after face after face. So many rejected faces. And so it is thanks to Satan that I now have a face that will stick to my skull. Thank you, Satan. It's true. I do believe that one day soon the Dark Lord will rise out of a lake of fire and rain chaos and destruction upon the world. And it is true that I am doing everything I can to hasten that day. <laughs> but folks, I truly believe that when that day comes, I will sit at his unholy side and rule the world in darkness with him. <laughs> That, plus bringing film production back to Hollywood, are the central promises of my campaign. So folks, won't you please contact the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and let them know Chip Gardner is your man for honorary mayor. Hail Satan! Good night! Thank you so much.